Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one true God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to send salutations to all the Akiyam throughout the four corners of the earth, exalting the name of Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. And truth and in sincerity. All right, this lesson is going to be about separating yourself from the world and not being a friend of the world. The world, when it talks about the world, it means the philosophies of the world. All right, and uh, the uh, the the worldly doctrine, the um, the lust of life, um, the worship of people. You know, things that are contrary to the Bible. You know what I mean? Like like wanting and desiring the things of this society and putting it above the word of God and of God. That's what being a friend of the world is. That's what loving this world is about. It's about self-worship and me, me, me. It's all about me and how I feel. Uh, because that's how the world teaches you, you know, the world teaches you to be selfish, you know, but the Bible teaches you to be all about Yahweh and, and what he wants, because what he wants is good for you, but what you want is bad for you. Okay. What God wants is best for you, but what you want for yourself is selfishness and that's against God. Because all God wants you to do is obey him. Obey. But you choose to obey false gods, yourself, and the ways of this world. So when you do that, you separate yourself from God. And when you separate yourself from God, you are of this world. And the Lord will allow that to happen. And he will allow the world to, to, to swallow you up and spit you out. Because you're going to destroy yourself. And you're going to get yourself destroyed. James 4 and 4. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is an enemy of God. So it's enmity with God, meaning you're an enemy of God. It's against God. All right. Your friendship with the world is against God. All right. And it's, notice how it started off, ye adulterers and adulteresses, because you have physical uh, adultery, all right, which is when a man has sex with another man's wife or when a, a wife has sex with another man, okay, adultery. But then you have spiritual adultery, which is spiritual fornication, which is where you jump into idolatry and you start worshiping pictures, statues, you know, other people, other gods, all right? That's being a friend of the world when you worship these other gods and people, when you put the creature above the creator. So that's real friendship of the world. When you follow after your lust, when you're an idolater, when you're dealing in idolatry, all right? All this idol worship and things of that nature, you know, that's how you become an enemy of God. All right. First John 2 and 15, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the father is not in him. So you have no love of the father because what is true love? Love is keeping the commandments. Thus saith the Bible. Even Yahweh Shai said, if you love me, keep my commandments. And people do not want to keep the commandments. So guess what? They're a friend of the world, but not a friend of Yahweh Shai. Verse 16. For all that that is in the world, lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the father, but is of the world. So when you have the pride of life, it's of the world. 
because the Lord wants to get you prepared for what's going to happen when he returns. What's going to happen when he takes down this present world and put one that is profitable in a position to rule. Because the one that is in, in rulership now is not profitable. Okay. But the one to come is. So he's getting us prepared for that world. But when you are indulging in the the, the, the lust and the in the in the wickedness of this world, you already have what you want. You have your constellation. Okay? It's, it's you know, you have it. So he Lord's gonna let you have that. And you, when he, the Lord brings down this place, you will go down with it. Verse 17. And the world passes away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. And there you have it. So you will abide forever if you do the will of the Father, which is to obey him and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, which is to believe upon him and things he said and to believe on his scriptures and keeping the law to the best of your ability and, and to, to, to watch and as well as pray for his return, to pray for his return, to bring down his enemies and your enemies to establish a new kingdom the scriptures tell you pray without ceasing the Lord is shortening up the time for our sake really for the elect's sake and Lord willing we are of that number he's shortening up the time for us so that we can get away from this world away from this temptation so we can live in pure bliss all right and safety second corinthians 6 and 17 wherefore come out from among them and be ye separate thus saith the lord and touch not the unclean thing and i will receive you so the lord is going to receive us if we do what touch not the unclean thing all right the uncleanness of this world do not indulge in it all right so there you have it uh verse 18 and 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 will be a father unto you and ye shall be my sons and and daughters saith the lord almighty so we're going to be sons and daughters if we obey but if not like the scriptures tell you in matthews or I think it's I think it's Matt, I think it's John. It says, "Ye are of your father the devil, and the, and the, and the, the lust of him ye shall do." I believe that's how we, how it goes. But you are of your father the devil. So guess what? You're either a son or a daughter of God, or you're a son of the devil. All right. But you would rather be a friend of the world than a friend of Yahweh Shai. But look at what this says, John 15, 15. Henceforth, I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I called you friends for all things that I have heard of my, that, that, that I have heard of my father, I have made known unto you. So, so we want to be friends of the Lord, not friends of this world. All right, separate yourself from this world and these lust and this temptation and come to the Lord while he still is here, while he still is capable of giving you mercy. Watch as well as pray and repent for the kingdom of heaven is near. With that, all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai.